who has a question? Yes, this is Catherine. Catherine, I yes. It triggers a, something I've been um, wondering about, uh, and that is uh, what you have referred to as Enki's gift. Enki's gift. And when I think about impeccable timing, and listen, that we're very, we must be very close. And it is that, very close. So, it's already activated. Oh. To, to some extent, but not in not in full blossom. Yes. Remember yesterday we were talking about some pretty wild subjects and we said, oh, here they come. Remember? You had a good laugh. The helicopter was coming over. And we said, fountain them, fountain them. <laughs> now, and, and everyone did it. They, they, they shot up a fountain of energy. It was quite funny. Uh, <laughs> but you're not sure if you really did it. You see the difference? We know you did it, because we know when we say, all right, close your eyes, picture this fountain up, close down, we have enough psychic energy to watch and see and feel you do this. You as people are still insecure, unsure. Enki's gift was a time-coded mechanism left in the DNA long ago. Uh, because Enlil did not like the human experiment, he would have gotten rid of it and, and, and had it all redone. Enki and his sister have uh, empathy, compassion, Enki plans ahead. What's 2,000, 10,000, 20,000 years to someone who's been around a million? It's a few weeks, you understand? You go away to another colony, you have a spa, you come back, everything's changed. Now. Enki's gift was put in certain DNAs as a fail-safe mechanism that it could be activated because Enki understood, and Ninma as well, how much DNA was turned off, 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 off. But still enough was on to give you an experience and to make you worthwhile, to make it worthwhile living in a human body. What Enki left was a code, a gift, that under proper circumstances, that would be triggered celestially, or cosmically, especially by galactic center and the, let's say, roulette wheel of your solar system. That when the time was right, Enki and his sister, being nowhere near in vicinity, could, could start to open this type of activity and it was set into motion slowly to open and now it needs to pop really pop so that you all start to have really clear psychic understanding so that you have strong 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 knowings and that you are guided day to day not by cell phones and ridiculous applications but by the inner coming online. You know it. You've heard the words. But as the pressure grows in the outside world and things get strange, really strange, this will pump up higher and higher. They are designed to coordinate together as Anunnaki reappear, Enki's gift unfolds. Does that explain the impeccable timing? Yet it is up to you people to be prepared, to be aware of your part and responsibility in the process. Anything else, Catherine? Well, um, I will share one thing. I, I, was, um, I was inspired to pick up the book Earth uh, recently. <coughs> it was the one I re least read. I've read the others more than several. And I flipped it open and it says, we, we were the ones that rearranged your DNA and now we're in a pickle. And I thought, wow, I didn't remember reading that when I first read Earth and putting a story together. And so, it, <clears throat> and then you always said we, we are kin. That you are we and we are you on some level. And suddenly I'm sort of opening up to, to some new idea of something we all share, but I'm not sure what I'm wondering about, but I'm just sharing what I am wondering about. It's good wondering. <laughs> We've given you many clues over the years, so many that it is difficult to remember. 
And of late, we have been teaching you about the visitors who have left lots of footprints, lots of evidence of, of infiltrating your world. We have said they are on our world as well. And yes, these Anunnaki uh, have at times uh, taken their own kind, recolonized our world to some extent, and um, all the things that we have told you about giants and reptiles and Anunnaki and Pleiadians and genetic engineering, it's all intertwined. What's the order? What's the meaning? Again, the logical mind says, if I could only connect these dots, it'll make sense. Some of it is not yet ready to be connected because you have not grown in awareness enough to comprehend. Yet, you're so close, so close. So this is some good figuring. <coughs> and it is true that we have, at various points in your development, interbred with you as Pleiadians to upgrade your DNA. It was part of some beings in the Pleiades break out from the Anunnaki Empire and to break the control of the Anunnaki by going and doing what our vehicle said to you this morning, the gods do not want the heavenlies mating with the earthlies. And yet they keep doing it and it changes the genetic experiment. It changes what can and cannot be activated. This, that's worth some thinking about there. All right, who has questions?